mission is to work together and play. I can, you can, we all can make a difference. The Earth Care Club is meeting again. We want to get a message to all our friends. I can, you can, we all can make a difference. The Earth Care Club! Yeah! Hello! Come on in and join the Earth Care Club. Hi, I'm Shogun. Hello, my name is Kathleen. Greetings, Eddie and Nice to meet you, I'm Ariel. Welcome, I'm Addie. We're just about to start today's Earth Care Club meeting. Here you go. You really need to have some paper, a pen, or a pencil at an Earth Care Club meeting. There is always a lot of fun and important information that you can use after the meeting. Today's meeting comes to order. We started the Earth Care Club so that children everywhere can learn how to take better care of our Earth and all of its creatures. So we go to different places with the video crew. We tape what we see so we can share it with you. And that way we can all learn together. And one of our most important mottos or sayings around here is, I can make a difference. You can make a difference. We have a lot of work to do with a lot of the work to learn. Our meeting today is about some animals that live in the ocean that we need to help protect. We want you to see the fun and smart dolphins that we met at the Dolphin Research Center on Grassy Key in Florida. This is what we learned from a really nice dolphin trainer, Linda Erb. Oh, hello there. We have a dolphin here already. This is Alita. Uh-oh, I think the baby's coming. <gasps> Look, there she is. This is Pandora and her mom, Marina. Come on around here, guys. Good. Oh, my goodness. Are you guys excited to see the kids? Are you excited? That's me. Let me say hi to them. The baby has the pinkest tummy of all. Oh, she's not showing you. She's being shy. She got shy, didn't she? Come here. I want to see Pandora's tummy. Can you show me? Pandora's the baby's. Oh, look. Oh, my God. See how pink? Yeah. That's one way you can tell she's a baby. What? Does anybody have any questions so far? Yeah. Captain? Why shouldn't people feed wild dolphins? If you feed wild dolphins, it can be very dangerous because wild dolphins shouldn't be learning to eat from people because they need to catch their fish in the wild. Sometimes dolphins in the wild that eat too much from people get lazy and they don't catch their own fish. And what they do is they keep going up to boats to get fish. And then, what do you think could happen if they go to too many boats? They could, they could either hurt the boat or they could get hit by the, the motor. A lot of dolphins get hit by the propellers and that's really dangerous. We don't want wild dolphins to learn to depend on people. We want them to stay wild. And these are the dolphins that we can learn from. Dolphins that live with people and they can be here to teach us things. Really oh, here comes Helen and AJ. Hello. They're like, oh, thanks. We wanted to come out of the room Hello. and see everybody. Hello. Talon and AJ are kind of famous. They've been in movies and commercials and things because the fence out there is made so that it can go down underwater. So if a camera stands here and films, it looks like the dolphins are in the ocean. But it's Talon and AJ. They just have the fence underwater, so you can't see any kind of fences. So that's one of the, one of the ways that they do film work and commercials and stuff and get to show off. <laughs> <laughs> that was Buck. He's excited. He's <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. They're just excited. When they get excited, just like you guys, you jump up and down, you run around a lot, so do dolphins. How long can oh, dolphins no. live? The average is usually about in their 20s, but a lot of dolphins live to be in their 40s and almost 50 years old. And Mr. Buckman, can I tell him about you? Now, Buck is a very special dolphin here, kids, because he is a dolphin that actually was released. The people that had Buck before he lived here tried to put him back in the ocean. They took him out on a boat and they pushed him into the ocean and they thought that he could take care of himself. 
but you know what? Buck had lived with people for a long time, like about 10 years, and he didn't know how to take care of himself. So he was out there in the ocean, and he was hungry, and he was looking, he was begging from boats. He actually got hit, he's got a mark on his back. We think a boat might have hit him when he was out there. So Buck needed to be rescued, and we went out looking for him. It took us two weeks before we found Buck, and he followed our boat all the way back to the Dolphin Research Center from Marathon, and he came in our fences when one of our girl dolphins, Teresa, went out and invited him. But Buck was so skinny, he almost didn't survive. So we always like people to know that it's not that easy for dolphins that are used to living with people to live in the wild. Well, we're glad that Buck is here now. He got healthy again. He's still not the fattest dolphin. You want to show off? Can you say yes? He's like, yes. Aren't the dolphins great? Yeah! Now you get to see how smart they are at Dolphin Training School. We're getting ready to go down on the dock and meet Rainbow and Sandy, so I want to go over a couple of things with you guys, because what we're going to be talking about down there is how the dolphins go to school. I'm going to show you how we teach them things, and I'm going to actually have you guys help me teach them things. So the way that we communicate with them is with signs, with like hand signals. Well, what you guys are going to do is use sign language with the dolphins. And before we give a dolphin a signal, we ask them to pay attention. And the way we ask them to pay attention is we hold our finger out, just your index finger out straight like that. Can you guys all show me that? And that means, look at me, pay attention. And when the dolphins see that, they're supposed to sit up straight and look at you with both eyes, okay? If you have a dolphin giving you one of these one eye things, it means he's not really paying attention. So then you have to go, Sandy, Sandy, look at me. And then when he looks up with both eyes, then you can show him the hand <laughs> signal, okay? Look out! <laughs> Hi, boys. Come here, Rainbow. This is Rainbow. Hi, Bo. Hi, handsome. Kneel down here by me for a second, Ketlin. Put your hands out like this. Can you shake hands with Ketlin? Come on. Up. Oh, he's trying to give you his flipper. He's saying, how do you do, Ketlin? Go. Oh, good job. You want to go down farty? Can you do it over here, too? Get ready. Reach him out. Oh, he's got one for each of you. Look at that. Good boy. Sandy, he was so excited, he couldn't wait. He just had to jump. They weren't supposed to get you soaked, but they certainly had fun doing it, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, All right. Funny. Everybody kneel back down here by the front, and Sheldon, go ahead and put your hand out and give them a rub there when they come by. Here comes Sandy. Can you reach, Eddie? Oh, my God. Aren't they nice? They feel like, they feel like rubber. They feel like rubber? What do you think they feel like? They feel silk. Like silk? Roll over. Rub their chin. Oh. oh Isn't that nice? Oh, rub his flipper. He wants a flipper rub. Ah. Careful of his nose. Remember I told you their nose is up here? Do they breathe from their mouth? They breathe from their blowhole. Did you hear that? That's yeah. his breathing. And you talk from there too? You do. Can you show us how you talk? Talk from your nose. They can't say anything. They don't say a word. Now, guys, it's time for you to learn some of those signs I was telling you about. Did you see what I did? I took my finger and I slapped my knee like that and look. That means stand on your head. So they're going to wave hello with their big feet. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? That's where all the power comes from. So that's how they were getting us wet. When they were jumping and stuff, they were using that tail to jump high or to swat water at us. Oh, no. Well, the way I tell them to stop is I blow this whistle again. So they're waiting down there, holding their breath, going, is she going to blow the whistle? Should we blow it? Hurry up. Yeah. Oh, here they come. And now we all go, yay! Good job. Outstanding, boys. Sheldon. You're going to be my first assistant, all right? Sheldon, what I'm going to have you do is show them a signal that we call a tail walk. Make your hand flat and bring it up like that. Go. What's that, Bo? Look at that. Wow. Come back, Bo. Come back. Here he comes. Beautiful. Oh, go ahead, Sheldon. Give him five. Put your hand out. Say, give me five. You want five? All right. Give me five. Good job. How would you like to see him do a flip? Okay. Okay. You're going to use this hand. And look at me first. I want to show you the signal. Don't look, okay? You hold your finger like this, and then you go your arm like this to the side. Good, okay. So hold your finger up, get his attention. Rainbow, you ready? Do it. Backflip. What's that? He saw you. There he goes. Watch out here. Yeah! Oh! 
Put the target in the water there for me, Kevin. A little bit higher. A little bit higher so we can see it. Good. All right, ready? We're going to let go of Sandy, and let's see what he does. Move the target. Move it so he follows it. Good. Perfect. He did it. All right, what we're going to do next is I'm going to show you how the dolphins have their art class, okay? What art? Art class? You didn't know dolphins had art? Did you notice how they can move their heads up and down like this when I move my hand? Yeah, good. And then they can go side to side. Side to side, see that? So we started thinking, and they like to carry things and play with things. So one day they brought us a, a piece of the tree over there, and they were moving it up and down, and we thought, boy, I bet they could do that with a paintbrush. So we actually got these paintbrushes that we made for the dolphins, and see it has a little piece there so they can hold it and they don't have to worry about accidentally getting it in their mouth. Good boy, see Sandy showing you. Now watch what we can do when he's holding it. Can you move your head up and down? Yeah. Can you move your head side to side? See, so that's how we taught him how to hold the brush. Oh, look, he's got two pretty stripes on it. Dip it in there and try and get some gold on there. Oh boy, that's a pretty gold. because we're almost done. Everybody ready? Wave your hands like this. Wave. Bye, guys. Oh, Sandy's going to wave right at you. Look at him. I will. <laughs> what do you think? Were they great? Give them a hand. Yay. Yay for you guys. You were awesome. They are so smart. And excitable. Here's where we asked Linda about the Dolphin Research Center's Adopt the Dolphin program. How does adopting the dolphins help the dolphins? Well, Eddie, adopting the dolphins helps put food in their buckets. When people adopt the dolphins, it helps places like us here at Dolphin Research Center, who are nonprofit, take care of them. How can my class adopt the dolphins? Your class can do it by writing to the Dolphin Research Center. We send them a whole package of information, including pictures of the dolphin that you adopted. And you can write us letters and ask about them. It's really a fun thing to do, and it's a great way to help the dolphins. We all agreed to save up some money so the Earth Care Club could adopt the dolphin. It was hard to decide which dolphin to adopt, so we had to vote on it. AJ was the winner. Look, here's our adoption certificate. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to learn more about adopting a dolphin, you need to write to the Dolphin Research Center at this address or contact them on the internet at www.dolphins.org. We had some important Earth Care questions to ask Linda. Here's what we learned. The Earth Care Club. What types of trash are harmful to seabirds and animals? Well, there are lots of different things that can be harmful for them. Some of the main things are like plastic bags, balloons, things that can get in the environment that they can swallow and it can really hurt their stomachs. 
Other things are things that are like liquid pollutants that get in the ocean, that actually get into the fish and affect their diet. Do dolphins get caught in fishing nets? Yes, dolphins do get caught in fishing nets still. We have problems with what they call drift nets, which fishermen use in the ocean to catch a lot of different kinds of fish, but the dolphins can't see the drift nets with their sonar. So actually there are researchers trying to develop sound makers that we could put on those nets maybe so the dolphins can hear where the nets are. I heard it's not good to release helium balloons into the air because it pop and get into the ocean and a sea creature might eat it. Is that true? Yes, Sheldon, it's true. Helium balloons are very dangerous to dolphins. Not only dolphins, but whales and sea turtles. I don't know if you know, but one of the main sources of the sea turtles' diets are jellyfish. And if you can imagine a balloon in the water, it looks a lot like a jellyfish. The turtles will actually eat them, and they cannot digest plastic. So here in the Keys and all over the world, we have to rescue a lot of marine animals that have ingested balloons that ended up in the ocean. I know I'm just a kid, but what can I do to help the marine creatures and the beaches? Well, you know what, Sheldon? I don't think there is anything that is just a kid because we all have to protect the environment, and you guys can do so much. You can do things at home, like recycle, be careful with your garbage, because it's all interconnected. What happens in the oceans eventually happens on land, and it does affect us. When it suggested we check out the sea turtle hospital that was just down the street, so we went there. Sea turtles are an endangered species that people are working to protect. The hospital is not open to the public, but Sue was happy to give us a tour. She showed us turtles that needed hospital care for different reasons, and she told us about a virus that is causing tumors to grow on some turtles called the papillomavirus. Now this here is uh, the first place the turtles go when they come in when they're sick. When they come in, we actually wash them, make sure they're clean, and we have a little sink there. That's where we wash them down. And we x-ray them. This right here is a turtle, a sea turtle. There's his back legs. There's his little tail right there, his front legs, his spine. See all these round areas? Yeah. These are tumors. And you can actually see him inside the turtle. So if we were to x-ray this turtle and he showed no signs of tumors and as long as he was healthy, he had enough weight on him, we'd set him up for surgery. Now the one you're going to see, she's a little bit skinny yet, so we're feeding her, going to let her get some weight on before we actually do set her up for surgery. When turtles are sick, sometimes they'll float on the surface of the water and sometimes their shell will peel. And I'm going to show you these tumors under here. See how big they get and how skinny she is? See how concave that is there? Um, we have to tube feed her because she's not eating on her own. So we actually will stick a tube down her and give her food and then when she gets a little bit more fat, we'll actually put her on for surgery. But these are the tumors here and we'll actually surgically remove them. And how come it's so hard to like get off a tumor like that? Well, they're connected to the skin. They're, can you see there? Wow. See how they're connected? We actually have to cut them off. So what we do is we'll cut them off and then the turtle heals up very nicely, but it may take a while. How do they get them on? How do they get them on? It's, it's a virus and it's almost like growing a wart. You just get a wart on your skin. Can you see right up here? Can you see that little tiny one? Oh, they start out real small like that and it's just like getting a wart, but it's like the wart growing bigger and bigger and bigger. Watch your step when you come in. This turtle here, not only does she have the papilloma tumors, but she also got hit by a boat. See how her shell is cracked right here? Yeah. And also she had her flipper entangled in fishing line, and you can actually see it. It's pretty much dead. We're going to have to take that flipper off. So not only does she have the papilloma, she's got two other problems along with it. Where does the disease come from? Well, we know it's a virus, and we also think it might be like chicken pox. If we can successfully remove these tumors, they don't seem to get the virus again. Though one of the problems we've seen is actually warm water causes the tumors to grow. Uh, we'll have turtles here in the winter months that won't grow any tumors, and as soon as the water gets warmer, the tumors will start growing. So we think it may have to deal with global warming. And why else do they get it? What would cause the tumors to grow? Possibly stress. What would stress a turtle? Um, we think maybe pollution out there might cause it also. Okay, this right here is a green sea turtle that weighs 300 pounds. And he's here because he was actually hit by a boat. And you can see the mark right there. Can you see his head right here? And he's been here since June, and he's actually healing up really well. But that's a big problem. That's also a number one killer of sea turtles in the state of Florida last year was being hit by boats. Yeah. 
Babies. These little turtles here are called green turtles, and they're one month old. They're here because they're going to help us with the disease. With the University of Florida, we're going to work with these turtles through research, and they're actually going to help us. Bye. 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 We learned a lot there. Okay, now it's time to see our big surprise. We got to swim with Talon and AJ. Yeah! Linda used a mall dolphin to explain how we can get the dolphins to imitate our moves, give us a kiss, take a dorsal fin ride, shake hands, and get a foot push. Here we go! One, two, three. Oh, they did it! All right, we ready to have fun? Sheldon! Sheldon, since you're the man in the front row, guess what? You get to go first. What I want you to do is a handshake. Swim on out there, straight out. Good job, buddy. That's perfect. All right, turn around, look this way. Put your hands out in front like that. I think there's a dolphin coming to shake hands with you. Rub his flippers. Oh, man, good job. He's coming. Oh, shake his flippers. And Addie, you start swimming out that way for me, sweetie. Keep going. I'm going to let you go out there a little ways, OK? Keep going. They're coming. You keep your hands out just like that, sweetie. Here they come. Hold on to that fin. Hold on to the other one, Addie. There you go. Perfect. Hold on. Look at that. You're doing it. They're going to bring you back this way. Woo! Go, girl. Put your hands out. Here come the dolphins. Hold on, sweetie. They're going all the way down. They're showing you off to everybody. Woo! That's a long ride for Catlin. Look at that. Coming around the corner. Woo! Well, he's going around again. <laughs> Woo! All the way around the pool. Let go. Woo! Right to the dock. Oh, yeah! She did it! Oh, no! That was so cool! Woo nice ride! Whoa! <laughs> Swept him right in! <laughs> did you do that on purpose? You did it on purpose. You swept him right into the dog. All right, Sheldon, how about the foot push? So go ahead and get in position. Let me see if you're good. Yes, sweetie. Lay on your back, head that way, feet that way. Open your feet a little bit. Two dolphins are coming. Push your tummy up, lay out back flat. Put your arms down, Sheldon, you'll go faster. There you go. You got a good driver there, Sheldon. Woo, here he comes. There you go. Good job, girl. Woo! Push your tummy up. Good job, Addie. Keep looking at him. You're doing great. Whoa! <laughs> they dunked her. <laughs> Get his flippers there. Go ahead and rub on him. Good. Oh, there's another one he wants a handshake to. Keep splashing. Oh, they're trying to get you. Look at that. Good job. All right. Kick, kick, kick. Here comes AJ. Look. He's got it. <laughs> He's a little better than you, Sheldon. Look, he's swimming circles around you. <laughs> you just spin around and around and around. Here come the dolphins. Keep spinning. Oh, look at that. They're dancing with you. <laughs> bring him right up to your cheek there and let him kiss you. Good girl, and bring him away. Is he a good kisser? Yeah. Oh, lovely. Bring him up and just let him give you a big smooch. Dive one more time. Watch him out here, guys. They're going to jump way over there to the left. Whoa, aren't they awesome? Here they come again. woo One more time. What I thought about the dolphins was that they're really cool, and you can ride them almost everywhere. I liked it when they pushed me around and, <laughs> and they pulled me. I liked when, um, the dolphins kind of gave us a dorsal ride because I kind of got like a um, double one. They're funny. 
They do really good shark impressions. I thought it was wicked awesome. I loved it, and I like when they pushed my feet. Yeah! That was so much fun. Yeah. I miss town at AJ. I want to go back. Well, if you ever do go there again, or if you want to swim the dolphins at the Dolphin Research Center, you need to make reservations months in advance, because it's a very popular place. We learned a lot that day, and we wanted to do something to help. Here's an easy thing we can all do to help our Earth. A beach cleanup! The Earth Scare Club! All you need is a trash bag, gloves, and a ride to the beach. Go to a lake, pond, river, stream, or go to the ocean, and you can make a difference. 71% of the Earth's surface is covered in water. 97% of that water is ocean water. Plastic trash is bad news for ocean creatures. Many seabirds, marine animals, and other sea animals die after eating plastic and getting tangled in it. Every year, millions of pounds of plastic, fishing nets, buoys, lines, and other gear is lost at sea. Most plastic does not break down and disintegrate for hundreds of years or longer. That means the plastic in the ocean today could be there for generations. Even if we don't live right next to a large body of water, litter can be blown by the wind and end up in the water. So please don't litter. All the trash that was put into the ocean is put into the ocean by humans. So humans have to do all the work and clean it up. Today, we are cleaning up the beach. I can make a difference. You can make a difference. One last thing before we close up today's Earth Care Club meeting. We want to see what you are doing to make a difference. Get together with your friends at home or at school and start your own Earth Care Club. Send us a videotape of what you are doing to make a difference so we can share it with all the Earth Care Club members and viewers. This video is from the Earth Angels in St. Louis, Missouri. The Earth Care Club! This video shows some of the Earth Angels starting one of their butterfly gardens. They all live in the city and they got permission from the city to use an empty lot for their garden. This is the day they started planting plants that would attract and feed butterflies. The Earth Angels have been together for 10 years and have done many, many things to make a difference. They have won many national awards for their environmental work. The Earth Angels get together after school and are part of the Guardian Angels settlement in St. Louis. The Earth Angels have made a difference. Thank you, Earth Angels. Keep up the good work. For all the details on how you could send your video and how you can join the Earth Care Club or start your own club, get in touch with us on the internet at www.earthcareclub.com or write to us at this address. Remember, if we all work together to learn how to take better care of our Earth and all of its creatures, we will make a difference. Meeting adjourned. Thanks for coming. Goodbye. See you at our next meeting. See ya. Bye. The Earth Care Club is meeting today. Our mission is to work together and play. I can, you can, we all can make a difference. Share.